A beautiful woman was assaulted by a doctor while she was unconscious during anesthesia surgery. But when it was over, the doctor told her it was a hallucination of the anesthetic. But she decided it wasn't a hallucination. So she immediately went to another hospital. She had the doctor check her body. It was surprising that someone else's DNA had actually been extracted from her body. Now Ellie was sure of her judgment. Then she immediately went to the police to report the incident. But to her surprise the police didn't believe her. Because the doctor had been in town for over 10 years. Usually kind-hearted and helpful. There's no way he would do such a thing. She asked Ellie to recall carefully. Did something happen before that? But she suddenly lost her memory and couldn't tell me. She only remembered that she had a fight with her boyfriend. Accidentally hit by a shelf. So came to hospital. Although the police officer gave his word of honor that the doctor would never do such a thing. But because the beauty was so determined. In the end, they had no choice but to open a case. The police found the doctor. Told him exactly what the girl had accused him of. Then they wanted to take his blood and match it with the DNA in the girl's body. Out of trust in the doctor. The police did not take his blood in person. Instead, they told him to take it himself and send it over. Soon, the doctor handed over his own blood. After a DNA comparison, it was not the same person as the one in the beauty's body. The police officers were not surprised, because all of them felt that a good-hearted doctor wouldn't violate a girl for no reason. It wasn't long before the police found Ellie in front of her colleagues and students. The news was loudly announced that the doctor had not assaulted her. Now Ellie's reputation is in tatters. Ellie was furious. She was the victim. Now she's being treated like this. She came to the police station to ask for an explanation, questioning whether blood was taken in person. Soon, Ellie attracted the attention of the chief. Sure enough, when questioned by the chief. It was only after the police officer said that he had indeed not followed the procedure. But he also said that he would bet his life. The doctor would never do such a thing. But of course Ellie disagreed. She wanted the truth. Ellie threatened the sheriff that if the forensic investigation was not reopened, she would go online to the media to expose what they had done. The police had no choice but to reopen the case. This time they found the doctor. They took his blood in front of everyone. But the doctor wasn't afraid and cooperated frankly. The police soon had the results. The second sample still did not match. This means that the doctor was wrongly accused. Since the sheriff was supervising the whole thing this time. She no longer believes Lisa's bullshit. The sheriff even thinks she's trying to blackmail the doctor. And Ellie didn't dare to argue any further. If the unwarranted request for tracing continues, the sheriff would have arrested her for false accusations. He hoped that this would be the end of the matter. Ellie arrives at the supermarket disappointed. He received blank stares from strangers. The cashier even refused to let her shop. Ellie had no choice but to leave. She locked herself in her room. She lost her self-confidence. The long hours of mental anguish. She suffered from depression. Old father can't bear to see his daughter like this. He decided to leave the city with his family. Ellie began to receive treatment in a new environment. But images of that day always came back to her mind. She was still convinced that something had happened that night. But the police results don't lie either. Father wants her to be positive about life. The day was slowly getting back on track. But this day her sister was playing outside. When the neighbor's girl asked her why she had moved here, she said it was because her sister had done something wrong. No one would believe her story anymore. The words pierced Ellie's heart deeply. She decided she had to prove himself again. So she went back to the town alone, hoping that the police would reopen the case. A beautiful woman was assaulted by a doctor while she was unconscious during anesthesia surgery. But when it was over, the doctor told her it was a hallucination of the anesthetic. But she decided it wasn't a hallucination. Ellie then returned to the city. She came back to the police station to ask for a retrial. But the FBI told her that there could be no retrial unless new evidence was obtained to investigate the evidence. She secretly found a detective, paying him a lot of money to infiltrate the hospital to get the evidence for herself. But the doctor is very cunning. After a lot of hard work, the detective only managed to get the doctor's spit. As soon as Ellie got the evidence, she sent it to the testing department for testing. In the middle of the test, she approached the doctor's assistant again. As someone who had been with the doctor for a long time, she definitely knew things that no one else knew. He warned his assistant that the devil must not be spared. Today he can violate himself. Tomorrow he can violate you. And the day after that, your daughter. But after round after round of threats, the assistant still wouldn't budge. And when the people of the town saw Ellie again, they started pointing and swearing at her again, calling her out for bullying honest people. And the assistant suddenly changed her mind when she saw the scene. The assistant was convinced by Ellie. She secretly steals medical records from the hospital. It's full of girls with a history of hospitalization, and they hadn't come back since. Her instincts told her that there was something wrong here. To be able to find new evidence, she began to visit each of the addresses on the list. However, when Ellie explained her intentions, the girls' faces changed instantly. Not only are all these people rich Wom, they also had happy families. All of them said nothing about Ellie's suspicions. On the other hand, the private detective started to compare the saliva samples overnight, but the results were beyond anyone's expectation. As the saliva was mixed with glue, they didn't get any results. But the incident alerted the police chief. He heard
heard about Ellie. The sheriff said that one person could be so persistent about the matter, there must be something behind it. So when Ellie didn't have definitive proof, he chose to reopen the case. The doctor was called to the police station again, but although it had been a long time, but the doctor was still calm. He held out his arm for the doctor to draw another tube of blood, and this time Ellie saw the whole thing. As she waited, Ellie panicked inside. If it didn't turn out to be him, then all her efforts would have been in vain. But when the results came back, Ellie was stunned. The results were still not the same as before. Now the police chief is also beginning to think she is delusional. Slowly, she felt a little dizzy, beginning to think could it really be that she was misremembering? But just at that moment, the doctor suddenly said he was relocating abroad, and would be leaving in a few days. If Ellie didn't have proof within three days, then the doctor will have to fly out on a plane. Ellie is furious and angry. She can't think of any other proof. She began to wonder if the doctor had the power to change his blood, or had a mole in the police department tampered with the report? Just when she was at her wit's end, suddenly, a girl found him. She told Ellie about her own experience. She had felt violated herself. When Ellie approached her before, she was afraid to talk about it. But now she didn't have a chance if she didn't speak up. So she went to court and identified the doctor. This time, she had a witness and the doctor was arrested again. The police chose to draw blood from the fingertips this time. Then they added a saliva match. But this time it was a match. It was the same DNA that was in the doctor's body before. This time the evidence was overwhelming. Ellie is finally cleared of any wrongdoing. And the doctor was sent to prison. And the reason the doctor got away with it the first two times. Because he had a rubber tube buried under his skin. And the tube was filled with someone else's blood. So one test after another went awry. But the bad guys can't escape the law after all.